What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Lost Decor, the winner of the best, bringing you some Dragon Ball Fighters matches today, but with a guest that I don't believe I've ever had on the channel, at least not in, I was supposed to say in person. It's not quite in person, but it, hearing the voice call with me, you know what I'm saying? You might have seen him on the channel before, and if you're regular in the stream, you definitely recognize the name. Shout out to my boy, Yuri Uchiha. Say what's good to the people for me. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? So Yudi has recently actually started streaming and making content himself. So links to all his stuff will be in the description down below where you guys can go ahead and check him out. Also, probably also in the pinned comment. Uh, but yeah, my boy hit me up just a little bit early and was like, hey, bro, you trying to you know, get some games? I assume my boy trying to get a little bit of practice in because, you know what I'm saying? He going to be out there for combo breaker just like you, boy. It'll not actually yes, be our sir. first time uh, meeting in person. He's been a viewer of my stream for ever, uh, honestly. Um, and we've never actually had the chance to meet at any event or anything. So combo break will be the first time and hopefully we both do pretty solid out there. For sure, for sure. I'm really nervous because it's going to be the first tournament I've been to in quite some time. If I can give any advice, get as many, like don't overdo it, obviously, but definitely make sure that you get in casuals in the day before and get to the venue early the day of your pool so that you can actually get some games in. Because the biggest mistake I made for my first event when I went to Frosty was I did not play any casuals at all the day before. And some, some of these are not necessarily all my fault. It's not entirely my own fault that I didn't play, but, um, and then I, I got maybe like 30 minutes worth of games, which in DBFC is like what, three or four games at most, um, before I had to play my pool. And I was just not used to the setups and like the difference in like, uh, online, uh, you know, input timing and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I was disappointed in, in how I performed because I knew I could have done so much better. And I don't want you to go out like I did. You know what I'm saying? We both gonna make it out of our pools. I believe you won't make it out of pool, your folks. Well, I, nah, you you competed. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, not DreamHack. Uh, 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 DreamCon. DreamCon, yeah. You got oh, third goodness. there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, and I mean, I've been performing pretty solid at like bumps events and stuff. And like, I'm I'm pretty confident. Man, I, I wish he'd bring pool. back Con, but I guess he's just waiting on that rollback in the balance patch. I, I don't blame him, man. Like, yeah, I I yeah. don't either. It's been really, it's been really rough to play DBFZ online. Oh, 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 you're telling me, <laughs> oh, oh brother, mix oh, oh, <laughs> y'all see the float? Oh wait, I, he drops them. But uh, yeah, as you can see, oh, uh, you. <laughs> uh, the team he's running is base Vegeta with um, oh well, I, that's fine. This, I'll still be able to kill him. I'm pretty sure. 21's level three is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, but you can see he's running the team of base Vegeta 42, which is honestly the team I should have and would have been running at combo breaker and forward events or like forthcoming events that came after that. Uh, if I wasn't so dead set on always playing trunks, no matter what, but I love base Vegeta and I still have a lot of love for Majin 21. And I, I have played that team before, uh, just like in casuals or in ring matches with people. And I do think it's a lot of fun. Ah. Yeah, you gonna have to stop with the flex, my boy. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. So, like ah, you, I was ah. playing uh, Forty Two and Trunks at one point, mm -hmm. but that seems still really fun. It is, but not exactly the point, strongest, but it's fun. <laughs> at some, oh, point, you don't. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> I should be, but we still here somehow, somewhere. But yeah, like you, I was supposed to be playing that team. Um, wow, where's my super dash? Uh, uh, we take those. Well, <laughs> but yeah, I was supposed to be playing 42 oh, trunks. My toes. It's fine. I didn't think you got hit there. <laughs> well, I did. So I started to hold too well as like my down tech for me getting hit. I, but you did commit. So I just ended up hitting you with the too well. We take those, I guess. That's going to be game one going to your boy. But now go ahead. Go with what you're saying. But yeah, um, I was playing 42 trunks at one point um, as like my main team. And then I was playing it in tournament and... You were just like, damn, this shit kind of not the wave, huh? <laughs> Look, Tr Trunks is my boy. That's my favorite character, just like you. But man, I can't. Yeah. Competitively, at least. Nah, I, I feel you. I feel you. For me, it's just like he's like one of the saving graces of the game. And fortunately, like Lab Coat released, and I genuinely, genuinely really love this character. I, I, and I fully understand why everybody hates her, but I, she's so cool to me. And uh, I mean, you've been watching me long enough. Hey, you, you, matter of fact, you, you was a witness. You know, when the game dropped, I was talking about, man, I wish they would have gone with her lab coat design instead of the module, because I've always liked Majin. I've always played 21, but I was legitimately hyped when she got revealed and released. I was one of the few people who was like, nah, bro, I think this DLC is going to be sick. And then when they showcased her, I was like, oh, she's going to be broken. And then, of course, she released and she was the best character in the game and arguably the best character of all time in the game. That's, that's a debate, it's a discussion, but yeah, it was... I'm still gonna play her regardless. Me too, but I think this not in this game because she's gonna die. But you know, <laughs> word word. 
But nah, I also think she's really cool. And I was really excited to see. Oh, never mind. I went for a crazy read and I was dead wrong. <laughs> It'd be like that. I was like, I saw you got counter hit. I'm like, what'd you press? I, I um, pressed five H, thinking you were gonna backdash. Oh uh, word, word. <laughs> I thought you were gonna try to bait the spark. See, I thought you had a good idea, cause I thought about it, but I was just like, you know what? Let me go for the overhead. If he reflects, he reflects. Yeah, yeah. Now you made the right call. Um. But yeah, I was excited as hell once uh, they showed off. They showed off Lapco. Ah. Everybody tries to, to to push there. I don't know why, but everyone does. I definitely thought I like you were slightly above me, so that I would be plus there. But that turned out not to be the case. Mix. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's not. But uh, yeah, no. And Trunks is a uh, Trunks is definitely a character who needs a lot of help. I, I'm. I'm Glad if you want to call it that. That it nice. seemingly most people agree that the, the character is just not very good. So hopefully that means that Bandai and Arxis agree and he gets an actual meaningful buff or change for once in this upcoming patch. Whenever this mythical patch eventually releases, you know, I was Man. I was hoping that we'd have either that or pull back by now. Just just a crumb, Bandai. Just a crumb it would be nice. But hey, hey. I would love it too, but unfortunately we are in the waiting room and we've been here for quite some time. Also, I've had people ask me, you know, first of all, I guess, uh, do I feel like Trunks holds me back? And the answer to that is no, even though I do believe the character to be weak, I think I think most people would still agree and I, and I would still say that my best character is Trunks. Like the character I'm the most confident with, the character I play the best with um, is Trunks. So I don't think me dropping him would necessarily mean that I win a lot more. Like maybe if, if, if I were to put him down and like learn another character or like commit to a different team do i think over long term like i could be better for sure but i don't think like me immediately dropping trunks and let's say playing like the team beauty's playing would make me progress further in in, in a bracket or make me an, uh, a magically better player um because i i do i do believe that your faith in a character goes a long way in how will you perform um and i and i have faith in trunks regardless of him being weak or not but obviously i would love for him to be a lot stronger Man, I feel you on that, and that was me with Goku Black back in Season 1. Um, I, I committed to Goku Black for Season 1 and Season 2 for some time before I was just like, yeah, maybe I should just switch to something else. <laughs> so, I, you know, I played Goku Black early on, and for me, it was just a matter of when I went back. So, you, you know, I was playing Bardock, Trunks, Goku Black. Uh, but when the game first came out, I was playing Android 18. And... When I got better at the game and I picked 18 back up, I was like, yo, this character is just so much fun. And I was like, well, Bardock and Trunks are two of my favorite Dragon or my two favorite Dragon Ball characters of all time. So I guess I'm dropping Goku Black to play 18 because I really wanted to play 18. And then obviously that was the team I played for like years. Ah. <laughs> was um, yeah, and, and I'm still playing her to this day because she's just by far one of the most fun characters in this game for me. But yeah, and then I ended up dropping Bardock. Well, I still, I still play him. He's not on the main team. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bardock's still in the rotation, but he has been put down in, in favor of Lab Coat these days. Also, that hurts. Good comeback. Good comeback. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been but there. I feel, no, but I feel you, man. It sucks that I don't play Bardock and Trunks as much as I would like to because they, they, they're not very good in this, in this, in this patch right now, man. It, yeah. it sucks. And, like, they're not bad characters are bad fighting game characters but in the context of this game they're definitely lower on the tier like i think trunks is legitimately like people could say i'm like i'm downplaying or i'm memeing or whatever but I, I really mean it when i when i say that i believe he's a bottom five character and i think a lot of people out there would actually agree with that bardock is just kind of like probably the definition of mid in this game right now i'm not gonna yeah. lie yeah. like he's just actually actually mid <laughs> Him and Trunks are both pretty dated characters as well. Like, yeah, they. Far it, behind the times. It, it's funny too because Bardock kind of pioneered and and paved the way for a lot of characters and how the game progressed and evolved. But he himself has not like kept up and continued to progress and evolve. Like he laid the blueprint down for a lot of characters, and now other characters have surpassed him. And it's funny yeah. because you have a character like Blue Goku, who we used to call Great Value Bardock or Discount Bardock, and now he has. He is better Bardock. He is better Bardock, <laughs> and now we have a lot of characters in the game now who are better Bardock. It's Vegeta, Blue Goku, Kefla, King Gohan, like uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, especially. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these characters kind of like, even though you could say, well, well, did King Gohan and Blue Goku, weren't they in the game before Bardock? Yes, but the way Bardock came in and the way his tools worked and whatever is like how a lot of characters were then uh, patched to, to, to be like modeled after, um, if that makes sense. So, you know, it, it is what it is. He, he, he's definitely a bit stale, a bit obsolete. Uh, another character like 
is, like that is in Goku Black, I would say. But you know, he's, he's got some meaningful changes. I think he's in an okay spot. Yeah, better spot than Bardock. Uh, no, I don't know about Bardock, but definitely Trunks. Way better spot than Bardock. Yeah, uh, definitely Trunks. better than Trunks. Um, but yeah, to your point though about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being very similar to Bardock. Um, yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm actually of the belief that. Oh, damn, poor 17. I'm actually of the belief that. Um, yeah, if you play, if you played Bardock back then. Um, you should probably. You should probably. Oh wow, I dropped that. Probably you should probably play Gogeta. Gogeta, yeah, because yeah. it's very similar. Yeah, very I wanted similar. to play him, but just no team I ever like put together just really felt like the team that I should be playing with him. I just. I don't know. I could just never figure out what I wanted to play, and like I could easily play like Lab Coat, Gogeta, and Trunks, and that team would be obviously very, very strong. Yeah. But it just doesn't feel like it just doesn't click for me. You know what I'm saying? Like in my head, like it just not not that like I can't play it or like make it work, but it just doesn't feel like oh, this is what I want to play. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Ah. I didn't manage there. <laughs> ah! oh. Wait, why did I top that there? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him cook. Let me get, let me get 21 out of here real quick. <laughs> let me get 21 out of here and bring in 21 for show. <laughs> Word. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel you on that. At first, I was like that with Gogeta 4, but eventually, I don't know, man. I'm just like, this character's so sick. I did not want. I did not want that overhead. It'd be like that. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Oops, okay, okay. <laughs> I need to learn that myself for drawings. Damn, you built a lot of bar off that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Man. I will say this though, the games between me and Lotus, we haven't played in quite some time. I, honestly, I don't even remember the last time we've even played. We used to play a lot in the first two seasons, but it has yeah. been a while. Can I confirm a combo? That'd be great. All right, let's see. Do I have these? One. I do not. Two. Oh, wait, I do. Three. Four. Ah. Yeah, he dropped at the very end. Know that feeling. I'm going to just... I'm gonna... <gasps> what? That happens? Ah, ah, I guess it does. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Bye, Better you than me. <laughs> Word. But, uh... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna always play Trunks no matter what in this game, I think. And people have always asked me. Well, you know, actually, now that I think about it, there was another point I was gonna get to uh, when, I, when I was originally talking about that. You know, would I do better if I played someone other than Trunks? The other part of that was, what team would I be playing right now if Trunks either wasn't in the game or if I were to drop him? And it would probably still be uh, Lab Coat and 18, but I'd probably play Hit. So I might play like. Like lab coat hit 18. That'd probably be the team I play right now. If 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 I didn't play trunks, or it would be so cool, man. yeah, yeah. It, it, it would probably be that. It'd probably be lab coat hit 18. Would have been very interesting to see you actually main hit for real though. Like character's cool. I mean, I real I wanted to learn him early on, but uh, he was he's a bit different and a bit weird and like when you're brand new to the yeah. game it can be a little bit confusing when you actually like learn dragon ball fighters a little bit and pick up the character it's like oh he's not he's not really hard he's just he's just a bit different um i think he has this reputation as being like a a, a a difficult character um just because he's not like a he doesn't play like a sand you know what i'm saying yeah. he's, he's not really that hard he's just he's just different um he's a lot of fun though he's, he's super cool to me a lot of people think he's boring i don't know why but teach their own i i think the character lit. <laughs> I think he's super cool. I just wouldn't play him because yeah, he is he is so different. And it's not that I couldn't play him now. He just it would take a lot of time for me to, to you know learn and get used to him. Especially knowing that a patch is coming to it, I'm just like I don't even want to learn no new characters or anything like that. Nah, ah. I feel you. But yeah. Also, by the way, I don't know how I ended up in the corner the first time, but you know, I'm We're not gonna, gonna talk about no it. <laughs> Bye, base Vegeta. Bye. But uh, really yeah, I, I got I to gotta get you in there in the ring with me with because uh, like I'm obviously going to be practicing a bit more and stuff. I mean, you've already been there to see it, but like, I've been playing with like Nitro and Enzim and stuff and, uh, yeah. and Dion, which actually I don't believe Dion's going to end up being there. He's not going to be a combo breaker, but he's supposed to come to Evo. But I think he actually has something that I don't know if I can talk about that he will be at. So he might actually be able to make the Evo. However, that being said, I got to get you in the ring with uh, Nitro and Enzim and them. Absolutely. He's practicing. I got to get Pred in there as well. The more the more competition, the better, man. That's how that's how I'm gonna get ready for sure. Cause online is only gonna do so much for you, you know. Yeah, just playing against the random people in ranked. I I, I mentioned this recently in the video, but 
I just thought, also I just feel like I go for cross up almost by default all the time now when I do the, the 18 level three just because again and this is why I want to practice more against like specific people because most people online they just they just get hit by the cross -ups. I just always do cross up but yeah uh, hold on. but yeah I said this in a video just recently that playing ranked is like the worst way to improve the game it's not to say that you can't get good from just playing ranked but out of all the ways to improve it's like the lowest on the totem pole to me yeah. and I say this as someone who's played thousands not only thousands of hours in the game, but thousands of ranked matches. I've played thousands of casual matches, thousands of ring matches. I've played online, I've played offline, competed in both. And obviously there are people who are far more experienced than me um, and you know, knowledgeable than me. But uh, from my own experience and in, in, in my humble opinion, I think ranked is the worst way to improve the game. Yeah, especially with the with, with people and their play styles online, it's it's not the same game. Like when it's, it's whenever really people, t whenever people tell you that online and offline are two different games, it, it's it's the truth. Like, take the word for it, because I remember going to my first offline tournament. I'm just like, this is not the same game I've been playing for the last two years or something like that. Hey, oh, wow. Hey, hey, hey. yeah, you and I both. Um, It's weird, too, because again, my first offline was Frosty, right? And at that time, I was playing Base Vegeta 21 Trunks, right? Base Vegeta Majin 21 Trunks. That was the team I was playing competitively. And uh, you know the struggle of how long it took me to get, get be able to do Base Vegeta loops. Yeah, but by that point, you know, I would night. Well, I'm doing I'm doing the, the mid screen loops and everything else. You know, so I'm pretty consistent, whatever. Cool. And that's that's the team I was playing the most. So I was pretty confident, comfortable. I get offline. I can't do no base Vegeta combos. It's, I, it's I, different. Man. And that's it's what and that's right what I'm saying too. is like the difference in input delay for what I was used to doing, like online and on my setup. And then even just like playing it like in training mode or whatever, like it was just really different in a tournament setting. It, it, not even in, just in tournament, but on the tournament setups, just in casuals, I was like, oh, no, like I'm in trouble. And I, I was if, if, if any of you guys go back and watch like that Frosty Falcons vlog and you see like the, the footage I have of my games, you see Base Vegeta, you'll notice that like I'm doing no loops. It's all B and B's like it's all ABC combos because I, I couldn't do them. Like and I, I didn't play enough casuals or practice or warm up enough to be able to do my combos offline. So the fact that I even won any games at all is kind of crazy to me because I, I dead had no combos. Like <laughs> I had I was dropping my 18 stuff because y'all have seen me from time to time randomly, right? Well, like. I'll J2H and I do medium 17 and like the super dash comes out at a weird time. Typically you see that happen to me when I'm jumping back and forth between PC and PlayStation because my timing is just thrown off. I 21, wait, we endure. Endure. You, you despise to see it. Ah. Hey. Ah, no way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I, I was just dropping everything. Um, and it got, it got to the point where, wait, well, I said 18, but yeah, so I was playing Vegeta 21 Trunks, and when I when I was on like my elimination game in Losers, I was like, "Fuck it, bro, I'm gonna play 18." So I, I put down base Vegeta because I just wasn't playing him well. Ah, and uh, I brought it 18, and I, it, it honestly didn't do me much better. And then even at Evo last year, um, I, it was the most prepared and warmed up I had been, but there were still some points where I was definitely dropping combos just from like just not having enough experience with like the setups and stuff. Um, I'm happy with how I perform, but I know I can do even better. But I made it out of pool, so I can't be mad at that because it's the best Absolutely. I had done. That's a, that's a, that's a W, but I, I feel you on that, man. Oh, how did I also, I side? think I i don't know this for sure. I, I saw something something about this randomly online not too long. I mean, it was a couple of months ago, but obviously Evo was almost a year ago at this point. Uh, but the guy who beat me in Losers was a guy by the name of Jay Gohan. And I, I guess he's like a really strong player from I, I don't want to say the wrong country. But I think it's Puerto Rico. Um, and it was two one, and he just barely beat me in the end. But like, I I definitely could have beat him. Even the guy who eliminated me in win winners. I hate to sound like a, like a salty loser, but like, no, <laughs> he, he really was supposed to lose there because it, it it was like a final touch last character situation. I had plus frames and he mashed, and I got counter hit. Cause y'all know me, I'm the king of getting counter hit on my own plus frames. He was he was supposed to die. <laughs> I did the right thing, and I just I don't know. Maybe subconsciously I hesitated or what, but I was that was my winners match to qualify out of out of pools, and I he, he and then he like after he won, he was like, "You damn right I matched," and I was like, "Yeah, you should have fucking died, you bitch ass nigga." <laughs> but it is what it is. Next time I'll I'll, I'll play better so that I'm not in that position in the first place. Hey. Ah. Ah, oh, you weren't supposed to get hit by this, but that's my fault because I left the gap. Oh, 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 he think he got blocks. Oh, he think he got blocks. 
Pick this. No, I take that. There's no way. <laughs> hey, I was being uh, very uh, patient uh, right uh, there. Uh, uh. All right, you know what time it is. Oh, no. This is not the position I want to be in. Sparking, right. help me. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, YouTube, watch this. <laughs> no way you just did that. Hey, hey. I, you know what? It's fine. He got hit. I definitely just tried to go for cross up, but we'll take the cross up 5M even better. You know what? I didn't think he was going to cross up, so I was just finna mash right there. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I can't let you. I can't let you get this double. Man. I have bad news for you. Ooh, cross. Oh, ah! Well, goodbye, A team. Mink. No, now wait a minute. 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 I've seen this story before, but I hate to alter it. Hey, I, you you have been on the wrong end of a lot of trunks three v ones. Now that I think about it, it back uh -huh. in the, uh, back in season uh -huh. two. Damn, what's the last time I did that combo? I haven't seen that one in a while. Ah, oh, you saw! No. You saw! I should have never flexed it. It'd be like that when it be like that. Especially when it be like that. Talk to him, Trunks. Ah, uh, really? Be stuff. like that. <laughs> <laughs> G, G. Matter of fact, actually, at Common Breaker, you and I specifically are going to get plenty of casuals in so that we both are familiar Absolutely. with these setups and that we, we make we sure that we're good to go. Because. Like for the skill level that I am, ain't no reason I shouldn't be making it out of pools at every event. And, and it really is on me for not preparing enough. And Lord knows I have not. I mean, like I said, like I said you know, like I, I, I've i been still uploading YouTube videos, but even with DBFZ and YouTube, like I haven't been uploading as much as I used to. Because y'all know I used to upload basically every single day. Whereas now, like, uh, yeah, you get you like four or five uploads a week at this point, which is still pretty good. But I have not been practicing the game. Like, and I, I don't really consider yeah, like my, here. I don't really consider my videos like real practice because not and half those videos are the copycat challenge, right? So it really doesn't count. But uh, I'm, I'm getting some legitimate practice in and uh, definitely gonna make sure I'm warmed up uh, when the tournament comes. Cause uh, even though I don't have super high expectations for myself, like I said, the, the bar for me is like, make it out of pools, whatever happens after that happens. And uh, that, yeah, that, that's that's what it is. Anyway, you, anything you wanna say to the people before we get out of here? Hey man, uh, sub to Lotus if you haven't already, of course. <laughs> yeah, oh, free, man. Like, bu like buttons free, all of that. And I appreciate you for having me on the channel, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no Thank doubt, no much. doubt. Thank you for joining me. Hit this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for all this content I'm bringing you. With all of being said, let's finish off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you. Swing the button. Later. <laughs>